hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is nelly and if you're new here i make content around fashion beauty lifestyle travel and everything in between so if this is your first time coming across a video of mine and you enjoy what you see i highly suggest that you subscribe leave a comment down below and share if you care and for the returning subscriber thank you so much for joining me again it is such a pleasure to have you here today because today's video is an interesting one and one that i've wanted to make since we started 2022 it's a bit of a challenge and i want you to take the challenge this year i want you to create more content before i go any further this video has been sponsored by skillshare skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes and members in over 150 countries skillshare is a place you go to get inspired to learn new skills and put them into work in impactful ways we want to make the creative life you desire possible with Skillshare, you get to grow in your creative journey. If you're a beginner in, let's say, photography or videography, they have beginner-friendly classes that take you step by step, and they're so easy to follow with no ads in between. Some of the classes I have taken on Skillshare include project management, flower arrangements, yoga, photography, blog writing or creative writing, and journaling. The skills I've acquired from these classes have helped me maneuver my life as a content creator. The class I am taking now is called Just Start. Five exercises that lead to big wins by Rich Armstrong, who is an artist and designer. This class is about starting that thing and continuing to start it each day. Much like the famed tortoise who bit the hare in a running race. By consistently taking small steps, you can do your best work. And that's what this class will teach me. Um, we will go through five practical exercises to help me clarify what I want to get to and what steps I need to take right now and how to make it easy to start time after time and day after day. Make 2022 your year of learning, growth and connection through creativity. I will leave a link down below and the first 1000 of my subscribers to use this link will get one month free trial of Skillshare. Go on, make 2022 your most creative year yet. Um, so here I am telling you to create more content in 2022. And I'm sure the first question you have is, what content? Well, I want to challenge anyone watching this video to tell me that they don't have a talent or a passion. And I will call you a liar because we are not empty. As human beings, God has put something in us and we have something to share with the world. Not everyone is a fashionista, not everyone is a chef, not everyone is a painter, but inside of you there is something that you can do or something that you're passionate about and you're really, really, really good at it. Um, in the last three months I have met very many new people and each of them tell me how scared they are to start. I have spoken to someone who's passionate about cooking and not just your usual food, but they worked in seven star hotels for years. They're now retired and they want to bring some of that knowledge into your home, like to help you cook gourmet style dishes, but in your kitchen, simplified. And I was just amazed at that idea because I would love to cook or eat like seven star food at home with ingredients that I have. And I challenged her to do this. And if she's watching this video, you know who you are. Start, honey. Just start. I have also met someone whose passion is in baking and they just want to bake and they want to teach people different techniques of like decorating uh, cupcakes and so on and so forth. You have something in you that you can share with the world and you are being selfish by keeping that something to yourself. The thing that you are passionate about the thing that you're good at that's the thing that you should be sharing the world with okay sorted we know what content we're creating good number two i will tackle what platform another one that's a dilemma especially for beginners you get very intimidated by all these different platforms from instagram to facebook to amazon now has content to blogs to whatever um, I would do a quick Q&A test with oneself and ask yourself in this meeting am I more inclined to do videos 
or am I a shy person and I'm generally not, I don't want to be in front of a camera. Two, do I prefer audio because I think I speak so well and I can express myself better with, with audio visual, with audio, vid, with audio content and not necessarily being seen? Or am I really good at writing or, and do I prefer to type instead of talk or record these videos? Um, so yeah, those are the three mediums. So there's uh, visual, so video, then there's audio and there's uh, written, right? So video, oral or written. Pick the one that you're most comfortable with because again remember you're starting from zero and I know you're pretty much like afraid of what if it fails? What if? So many what ifs. So start with what you're most comfortable with. If you want to do um, audio, start a podcast. You could even be anonymous. Another friend of mine I told to start a podcast. She hasn't done it till today. If you're watching this video again, I'm, sh I'm <clears throat> the next video I'm going to call out people by their names and leave their handles. She's very good at doing commentary and I wanted to start a podcast to com do commentary on like pop culture, TV and so on and so forth. So anyway, and she's very shy. She doesn't want to be in front of the camera, but audio, that's the way to go. Audio is podcast, blog post, blog post is writing. Um, I have a blog post. I am not a good writer at all, but I sometimes just enjoy putting, penning down a few thoughts, blah, 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 and attaching some pictures and sending that out. Blog post. Now, video is for me very powerful because I think most of us are visual creatures and having video is a big bonus but no pressure start where you are you could even do videos without your face so you could do videos um, of like different backgrounds and graphics and calligraphy trying to explain what you're doing for us and if it's a cooking video for instance we don't have to see your face all you're seeing are your ingredients and how you're stirring and adding and so on and so forth so consider these three mediums skillshare can teach you how to a edit videos even shoot videos skillshare will teach you how to navigate these three mediums the video the audio and the written number three let's talk about equipment that's a tricky one. I started my YouTube video with a camera. It's the same one I'm using today. It's the one that's recording this video now. This is the Canon G7X Mark II. I got this video, this camera in 2018 February, I think, because I was taking a big trip to South Africa and I really wanted to record. So that has been my investment. From February 2018 we're in 2022 people got it for about $600 I think the price has since gone up but what I'm trying to say is make an investment make an investment that will last through uh, the period like will take you through the period that you 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 know it cost per wear I have literally used this video for so many years I have made so much money recording videos on this camera and i've paid back this camera a million times over yeah so i would say invest slight investment the slight investment in a canon g7x if you want to do video content on youtube or like vlogs it's very easy it's light i'm gonna put a photo of it here it's very easy it's light to manage it's it doesn't have a lot of um what do you call them like it doesn't have a lot of you don't need to manipulate too much if you just entry level it's a good entry level camera that's what i'm trying to say and it gives you good video it gives you good still if you don't want to buy a camera the phone that you're holding that's your equipment um just learn about your phone we have so many hidden features in our phones and we don't use them so go to your settings dig deep find out how you can change focal points how you can change color how you can all that jazz so the phone you're holding that's your equipment number two i'd say lighting but every day god gives us the sun every morning there is sun right now i am not using any lighting to light this video i'm just sitting in front of my door and there's a light coming in and that's it and that's my ring light but if you want to shoot like at night in darker areas or if you, are, if you have like a darker space in your house then hire 
not higher sorry buy a ring light they go for about seven thousand shillings 70 bucks i think that's a good investment for you to make um in this content planning journey that we are on in 2022 okay i want to see tens of new content creators on youtube on instagram and please tag me when you start i will be your cheerleader and i will watch you and we will grow together now we've covered the what content the where are we doing it and how the how we're doing it i would like us to tackle number four and this is about discipline and it's about consistency i want you to start and not stop i want you to keep going even when you feel like you don't want to do it I want you to make a plan and stick to it. So before you start creating any content, I challenge you to write five pieces of content. Like every week I'm going to put out a video and then I want you to do five. So for five weeks, I want you to have content. And when you're halfway through a number three, I want you to do five more. And that way you always have something to present when that time comes. It's very difficult for you to wake up today and say, I'm going to create this today. I'm going to, you know, you need to plan. You need to think about location, props, and so on and so forth. Also for ease of mind, planning is key. So I challenge you to be consistent, to start and do not stop until you've hit your target. If your target is 10 videos, if your target is 20 videos every week giving us something, every day, uh, sorry, every week giving us something, every week giving us a blog post, every week giving us something, make sure you hold yourself accountable. I am this year trying to put out two videos every week, but after quarter one i'm going to take a break and then i continue again and that's the way i plan on like being consistent rather than just um you know stopping and starting it, it is not good even for your brain and for your creativity i want you to make a plan stick to your plan consistency is key and that's how we're going to grow that's how we're going to be we're going to enjoy because we're not stressed about it okay last but definitely not least is patience it pays so you go start this podcast and you record the most bomb podcast and then you send it to me and your other friends and we're the only ones who, li who listen and we're the only ones who, who who've heard about it and so now because it's 12 um listeners you give up you can't you can't you have to see content as a form of therapy you have to see it as you doing the lord's work yes i wanna say that because again in the beginning of this video i told you guys that you have something in you that's special that god has put in you you as you you have to feel like it is not a chore um and you're happy to do it and so patience will help you um yeah patience will go a long way in helping you continue doing the work i know you all want to grow i know you want to hit hundred thousand subscribers and get the plaque on on uh, youtube i know you want to be verified on, on instagram but all those things i find them to be outside of what the main goal is um, here on YouTube, I speak a lot about forming just a community that cares about the stuff I talk about, whether we are 20 or 200,000. I just want us to be here enjoying each other's company, talking about everything, fashion, beauty, lifestyle, travel, and everything in between. That's what I want. And if that's 20 people, then I'm okay with my 20 people because we all have um, the same agenda. And it's 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 quite nice when you have such a community online because it's not about the mass uh but the impact so the 20 people that you are engaging with you're making an impact and that's all that should matter at the end of the day the accolades are good but they're outside for me for me they're outside what the main purpose should be okay so patience 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 some of us grow rapidly and some of us take time it's okay there's this, there's this, I don't know if it's a proverb or if it's, I don't know if it's an African proverb or it's just a general saying, but I read this somewhere many moons ago and it said, a dog and an elephant 
got pregnant at the same time and the dog gave birth to a couple of babies and the elephant was still like oh my mine hasn't come yet and then the dog got pregnant again while the elephant was still pregnant for the first time and then the dog got gave birth again puppies and this ellie is like dude but the day the ellie's baby came the baby hit the ground and the ground shook so that's to tell you stop comparing yourself with someone else when your turn comes it's worth the wait it's worth the love and care you put into it stop looking next door stop looking at so and so's content stop looking at so and so's numbers do you you grow when your baby elephant lands honey Najio will come take photos you'll be on every um national what do you call them national animal shows when your baby comes we will all recognize okay. and that wraps up the video i want to know in the comment section down below what are you creating this year what content are you putting out for us how are you blessing us in 2022 i want to hear from you right now in the comment section down below again give this video a thumbs up if you like it share if you care and subscribe if you haven't okay see you next time sending you love and lots of light peace